So, Mr. Nelson, here we are in uh, Massa College, uh, um, Malaysia. So, um, and we're Nigerians and we're studying in Malaysia. Uh, we're studying in different universities. So, I came to meet him in his uh, university. So, we so can discuss a little bit about uh, uh, what are the things that cause us to go abroad to study. A lot of Nigerians want to go abroad to study if you have the money. So, Mr. Nelson, can you briefly tell me in point form what are the things that make, made you to come to Malaysia to study? Uh, well, I think the number one is uh, the, basic, the basic thing is just the, uh, the infrastructure. Because when once you have the uh, infrastructure in place, definitely everyone will be comfortable to study. So I believe one of the reasons uh, why we have uh, a lot of our Nigerian brothers and sisters come over here to study is just that the fact that this is a country that pays a lot of attention to education. The educational system here is well funded and of course they have all that it takes to provide quality of education. From the public universities to the private universities, all are of standard. So that's why we are here. Of course, definitely you, you see uh, that uh, we have the uh, 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 power supply, which is 24 hours. All right. We have uh, the uh, uh, good laboratories, we have uh, uh, good internet facilities that are actually uh, working. And of course these are things that uh, you know, young people of nowadays would not want to do without. So I believe these are the things that uh, we are lacking back home. And of course a lot of uh, Nigerian youth would want to have a feel of these uh, facilities. That's why they actually run out of the country to study overseas. Thank you very much. As he has said, um, most of the things that cause us to come here is number one, constant electricity. Number two, internet access, Wi-Fi. So number three, the uh, infrastructures around the community. So you can be able to access all these amenities which you are paying for. And you don't have to stress yourself in most things like water is running, electricity is there day in, day out, year in, year out. Uh, there is uh, constant and steady uh, internet connection. So when we come here to study, we have access to Wi-Fi. We can use it to solve our assignments, conduct our research, do a lot of things without having to go to the cyber cafe. Everybody has their laptop, so you can stay inside your hostel or in your house and do your assignments and conduct your research. So these are the things that makes us to come here. And we have constant electricity. Here in Malaysia, you don't need to say, I have to charge my laptop so they don't uh, take off the light there is electricity all the time. So this is, these are some of the things that makes us come go abroad to study. Because back there at home, we don't have these facilities. That is why we're calling for our, our government to look into providing a constant electricity to the nation. This is the key development uh, factor that can bring development to the country. So, Mr. Nelson, do you have any other thing to uh, add? Yes, I would uh, want to uh, conclude on my, uh, on my comments. Uh, I believe, uh, like I said earlier, the government of Nigeria should uh, do a lot more in funding our educational systems, most especially the public schools, because they are underfunded. And when you begin owing salaries of a, of, a, of a lecturer, definitely you kill the quality in education. So they should uh, do a lot more in considering education as a very key factor in developing the, the Nigerian community. All right. So one of the things also, I, I feel to mention that, Collins, one of the things also that actually make a lot of Nigerians come here is the fact that uh, the cost of living here is quite low. You will agree with me on that. Yeah, so that is one thing. Uh, the cost of living is... Uh, uh, quite reasonable and of course uh, the fees are quite affordable yeah the fees are quite affordable if you compare it with the facilities the services e exactly the exactly because out here what you, you are paying something that is almost similar to what you are paying in a private university in Nigeria yeah. so if I was a parent what I would do is I would rather have my child study in a place where at least I'm paying almost equivalent right to a private university in Nigeria so having my child to study here he or she would have an exposure, exposure all right yeah. to a different culture different environment right and of course even the, the educational system is quite good also so 
if you would ask me, I would definitely want to go for the other option, all right, at the same cost, mm. all right. So I believe these are the things, and uh, it is a challenge back to our government. Yeah, that is it. If you, if the government can provide us with electricity, then every other thing comes secondary. Electricity is the primary thing for primary key for development. So when there is no electricity, no business would like to run their businesses on diesel, buying diesel and high giant generators and stuff like that. It's going to cost them a lot and they waste a lot of resources in that. So but if there is a constant electricity, developments will come all around. Like we that are living abroad, if we are able to make money and we want to make uh, some investments, we'll, we wouldn't have the urge to go back home and make those investments because there are no electricity to run your business. You keep running on diesel and running on loss, isn't it? So nobody would like to run on those losses. That is why there are, there are no international um, uh, uh, companies that are coming to Nigeria and that is causing a lot of a setback. And again, most work in Nigeria are dependent on government. People finish studying from, come up from the university, they start looking for government job because there are no private jobs. There are no uh, development, so everything is all about government. That is why the government even owe uh, salaries to their workers. So that is uh, the issue there. I don't know if you have anything to say before oh, well, we conclude. I think that's all from my side. Uh, one other area I just wanted to stress out uh, quickly is uh, the need to, uh, I mean, the, the, the opportunity students have to enroll into like internship programs, right, which gives them an industry experience based of what, on what they've learned, right, and of course it prepares them for the industry. So these are things that are actually quite commendable uh, in uh, the Malaysian educational uh, system, whereby students can actually finish their programs and then they can actually go out to be uh, employed into several organizations to have a few months of internship all right just on the job training okay so that's all for me thank you very much for the time collins all right thank you all for watching and uh, if you like uh, this video give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below share it to others let all nigerians say it and let our government say it and let them know the things that we like that they're supposed to provide to us and don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time Enjoy.